Hey everyone, it's Amanda, the LA doula. Today I wanted to do a video about what I offer as a doula and if you were to hire me, uh, what comes with your package. So let's get started. First of all, we do two um, prenatal appointments and one postpartum appointment. And then I am on call for you when you sign your contract through text or email pretty much 24 seven. And then of course I attend your birth from beginning to end. Um, what happens at the prenatal appointment, the first one, we like to go over your birth choices. These are interventions that are going to happen at most hospital births um, and you have a choice. And so we'll go through and decide what things you want and you don't want. Everything from how you're going to be pushing to if you want to give your baby a hepatitis B vaccine right after they're born. This is your birth choice. And then we do a birth plan, which is more um, how you're feeling about the day, uh, if you want it to be raining or not, what kind of music you want to be playing. And I encourage you to write that one on your own. Um, this is more sort of like a personal manifesto. Um, but birth choices are things that will happen and you do need to decide and have an opinion on them. Um, and that does take about an hour to go through all of that. We also talk about the partner's role. Um, we talk about laboring positions. And then your second appointment is um, another prenatal, but at this one we talk more about postpartum care, breastfeeding. Um, the postpartum care is mostly focused on the mother, the things that you'll need to buy, the things you'll need to make. Um, and again, that takes about an hour, if not a little bit more. Um, I'm starting to do like breastfeeding positions and things like that. Um, and then for your birth, I am on call um, for 10 days total, uh, five days before your due date and five days after. We know that most first time mothers usually go into labor uh, at 41 weeks in one day. That being said, I am not cutting you off exactly at five days. It's just I need to have some sort of uh, calendar for myself and my family. And so for the most part, I will be at your birth um, no matter when you have the baby, but I just like to have that disclaimer in my contract. Um, and then to the hospital, I bring uh, everything that we've decided to make your birth room what it is you want it to be. So that will include essential oils. I bring a Bluetooth speaker for the music. I bring uh, battery operated candles. I bring a rebozo, which has turned into a scarf that a lot of my moms have ended up just wearing as a comfort piece. Um, I bring a peanut ball because I found that a lot of hospitals don't have them, even when they say they do. Um, what else do we bring? Some massage oils, um, snacks for the mom. I usually bring honey packets, um, straws, and then I always bring a little personal care kit for the mom too, just in case she forgets something. Toothbrush, uh, face wipes, face mist for after labor, just to kind of feel freshened up. Um, and yeah, and I come in and I just make the room as cozy and wonderful as it can be. That's usually the time I kind of take over for dad because you guys have been up all night uh, laboring for the most part. That's usually how it goes. And dad gets a chance to sleep, get coffee, rest, and rejuvenate. And then he comes back in. Um, Isabella wants to say hi. Come on. That was her hand. She's going to say hi really quick. Hi. <laughs> Um, and then, you know, dad can come back in or the partner can come back in strong and ready to keep supporting mom. Um, I do epidural births. I do unmedicated births, birth center, hospital, you know, it doesn't matter. I am not connected to how you choose to birth. What I am a doula for is to show you, um, what is going to happen when you have your baby, regardless of how you're doing it, and to educate and empower you so that when you do have your birthing day, you leave it feeling supported and loved and like you were completely taken care of, that you were not blindsided in any way, um, that you knew what was going to happen and it happened to the best of your ability, my ability, and your partner's ability. Um, I am not anti-epidural, but you know, there's risks and benefits to everything and we'll talk about it and we'll decide what is best for you and your baby. Um, and then for postpartum care, I come and do an hour visit after you have sort of settled down. We usually take that time to talk about your birth and how it was. 
Um, it's really kind of the first time mom has to reflect um, and really just sit down and think about, wow, what did I just go through? Um, I can offer it as childcare if you wanna sleep, um, or we can just have a good old doula talk sesh. I usually bring a little postpartum package. Um, I don't wanna blow the secret, but I usually provide some sort of mother's tea and a nipple butter cream or whatever I feel like you might need at that time. And then we also talk about breastfeeding. Um, I nursed my daughter for almost three years, you know, exclusively for the first eight months or so. And then of course she ate regular food as well, but she never had a bottle. So I did have a lot of nursing experience. I did hypnobirthing uh, with my birth. I did have an unmedicated birth at a birth center, um, but I have mostly only attended hospital births since I've been a doula, which is fine with me because that is where more support is needed in my eyes. Um, and, you know, I love Ina May. I think she is an amazing, wonderful midwife. She's one of my heroes. Um, you know, I just have a wealth of knowledge to provide to my doula clients. And most of all, I just love empowering women and, you know, letting them see how strong they are. After going to so many births, I am completely blown away at how absolutely strong and amazing women are. I mean, there aren't, e there aren't even words to describe what these uh, women go through. So, and come out as mothers and anyways, so that's basically what you get as my doula client. I hope this helps to sum it up a bit and I look forward to hearing from you. DM me if you have any questions. Um, I also just love to help our community out with any knowledge that I do have. So I'm here for you guys and much love. Thanks a lot. Oh, and you can find me at my Instagram is the LADoula.com and my website is just the LADoula.org. You gotta get it where you can. All right. Bye guys.